Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Savannah and today I'm going to be using the Morphe eyeshadow palette Day Slayer 15D. <sighs> yeah. I'm thinking of doing an orangey look today because it's out of my comfort zone. So yeah. <laughs> First off we're going to start by just concealing my eyelids and as always this video is not sponsored but I make a commission on all Arbonne products bleh, purchased from the links in the description box Whew. don't know why that was hard to say did I boy what of so I use my NARS radiant creamy concealer for my eyelids and I that one's in shade light one chantilly And I'm gonna set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Okay. Normally I would have used a brush for that, but okay. We're just, we're going for it today. Okay. Guess it's just a habit from uh, past few days where I did my uh, eyeshadow last, but I've learned. Let's uh not do crazy colors after doing my uh, base yep. I have decided that I did not go through enough products this past month so there's not going to be an empties video sorry <laughs> but yeah I don't know being stuck at home I just haven't been using stuff I don't know I don't know okay I'm going to grab a a nice big fluffy brush boy here. I'm going to start with putting natural in the, thank you, ow, in my crease. <sighs> yep. Yep, it is pigmented. I think I, I own three Morphe palettes total. And officially after this, there will be a video with each on my channel. So that's really exciting for me. <sighs> yeah, I'm filming this on a Saturday. Early afternoon. Yeah. <sighs> Just, I don't know. Trying to take as, m take as much time. Trying to get as much done on the weeks that I can just have my filming set up here. Uh, up in the kids room <laughs> one day hopefully I'll have an actual designated filming area but until then yeah having the backdrop helps but mm, I don't know I'd like to have you know an area where I don't need a backdrop where is a I want a different floppy brush now all right I'm gonna go in with this more um, t not tapered, smaller, less fluffier brush, and I'm gonna go with in the crease that orange shade that I almost dipped my fingernail in. It keeps making noise. What is that noise? Oh, I just had the uh, mirror thing there. Oops. Now. Okay, so this makes noise still. Okay. Alright, so in the crease, this is gonna go oh, in my crease. Just slightly lower. Mm -hmm. I figured with springtime, here I should, should do an orangey springy look. And orange is actually my boyfriend's favorite color. <laughs> so, I don't know inspired me just a little bit here. I think I own one orange article of clothing at all. And I, my high school sophomore's color was orange. So, my mom loaned me one of her old orange tank tops from Old Navy and uh, I just kind of kept it. I like, I don't know, something about it felt nice to have for me 
Okay. I'm slowly building it up. And making sure I'm blending out really well. Stepping out of my comfort zone again for all of you. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do the other eye. I'm just keeping that middle portion open because I'm gonna put shimmer on. Man, guys, I'm tired. I almost didn't film today. I just woke up just not feeling good, not feeling me. <laughs> I slept in like crazy. It's just, I don't know. Something was not feeling right with me. Oh well, I'm here now, right? <laughs> oh. Oof. Looking in the palm, what the heck is on my face there? Huh. All right. Okay, I feel like a Cheeto. Do I look like a Cheeto? Cause I feel like a Cheeto. <sighs> I feel like I look like I just ate a bunch of Cheeto pasta and just rubbed all the powder that was on my fingers on my eyes. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade glow right here on my finger and put that on my lid. All right. Whew. No, don't touch the matte shades, Savannah. If this is me stepping out of my comfort zone, you guys should be proud, right? Ooh. Just really packing that on there. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm trying to think if I want to film something else after this or not. Huh. <sighs> I was playing one of my online games and I asked everyone on there, I'm like, what should I film tomorrow? And I give them a bunch of ideas of like orange and one of the ideas they said was do like a pur a plummy purple and a teal look. So, you know, not separate, together. So, I don't know, I'm trying to think how I'd do that because I don't really have a good matte shade of each in the same palette. And blah, blah, blah. But yeah, um, let's see. I want first fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use that to blend that outer edge here a bit. Soften that edge here. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, so I'm gonna cut to cut this and I'm gonna be back in a moment with my base on. Okay, I am back with my base on. So, back to eyeshadow. Alright, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to start off with just in the crease, that orange shade we used on the top row. And I'm going to push that up against my lower lash line. I don't need a hair stuck to my brush, please. That can get messy fast. <sighs> Naughty spoolie. Really, I like this brush, but at the same time, this, it like, clicks and wiggles, and I don't like that. About to just knock that spoolie part off. Okay. <laughs> About to name this. Can Savannah look like a Cheeto Puff? Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> or... More or do like Morphe 15D Day Slayer. Can can that make Spano look like a Cheeto buff? Something. I don't know. But I'm feeling Cheeto y. <laughs> like, hella Cheeto y. Ugh. 
Right, it's, since I'm going with orange, I probably shouldn't use um, my usual pinky highlight. What with the gold one today? Mixing it up just a tad bit for all of you peoples. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's drag it all the way in today. I'm looking a little scary right now, I know, I know. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and I'm just gonna blend that from inside to out. Okay, same thing over here. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna take a different small fluffy brush. Where are you? And I'm gonna grab that first shade natural, that one we put right in our my crease. We put in my crease. I put in my crease. And I'm putting that just right below. is like really out of my comfort zone I don't like the color orange I don't like it yeah I don't like orange why did I buy this palette probably to force myself out of my comfort zone because that's something I tend to do okay Whew. I'm gonna take a put that down that, that done that's done I'm gonna grab a clean fluffy brush and whoop, try to soften that brown on the bottom here. Just see, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it picked up just a little bit of that excess powder for me. And I'm gonna do that with the top here as well. Oh. Whew. Alright. Huh. Let's see. What next? What do I want to do next? I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Eye Pencil in Brown. I'm going to line my lower lash line. Not my lash line. It, water line. Where's my sponge? Sponge. Nope, that's not working. Someone I said saw use that trick. Mostly getting right up against the lashes, but that's fine. Okay, creasing. Let's make that a fun shadow now. Under my lid. Let's see, clean brush, where are you again? I don't know what that did. But okay. <laughs> my eyes are looking a little blue blue today, and I'm, uh, I'm liking that part. <laughs> At least something's going right. I'm gonna take my Pretty Vulgar Full Reels Mascara in Black Swan as usual. All right. Ooh. I'm liking that definition. Can you just tell how much of a difference that made? Mm. 
just like my faces for mascara. I'm try me trying to remember to keep my mouth closed. I'm like, eh. okay. No talking for like a minute, but. We're gonna leave it there. Savannah needs to breathe. All right, next I'm going to take my, don't I have the other color? Yes, I do. I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty um, Petal Pout Lip Liner in beige. Line my lips. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing something on top. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to take my Becca Ultimate Low Lipstick in Petal. And tap. And then I'm going to use a clean blending brush just to soften the edges together. Mm. And then I feel like I need a little something something. I'm going to add a dot of my Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paints in the shade Wakiki Rose. Right to the middle. Just want a little more definition on the middle. I like that. I like that. Hmm. Do I feel like I need anything else? Oh, inner corner highlight. That's what I need. So I'm going to take my Becca oh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz on my finger. Just a little more of it on my brow bone. Ooh. I think that is done. Whoo, man. What do you guys think? I feel like a cheetah puff, cheetah puff, cheetah puff. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, I want a little more of that one. Actually, Ugh, mirror stay up, please. It didn't go as precisely in that spot. I'm, yeah. Back into the palette. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Like, leave me some nice comments. Subscribe. See more of my goofy face. Watch me uh, keep getting out of my comfort zone. Because that is my current goal. I want to keep 
keep growing. I don't want to get stuck as the same with the same things forever. <sighs> but yeah. I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.